Hey there, friends! eCatalog is the source of different products. Do you want to know what is the content of Visual Components Electronic Catalog, or so called eCatalog? Well, let's check together. Here's Reza. Welcome! So, as you can see, I've chosen here all the models in the eCAD. Let's open up this preview. What we see is public models. So, in case I right click on it and go to open it in the Explorer. You see that all your models, components, the eCAD 4.3 components and the layouts, they are all available under this address in my computer. And that should be same for you for the version 4.3. Then we have my models. In case you create something, we usually advise that you place that component under my models in your C drive documents, visual components and the version and my models folder. Then the currently open folder, recent models and most used ones. Then you can also see models by type and models by manufacturer. These two are same. They are just collected or categorized based on different details. In here under models by type, the components are based on their type, obviously. For example, all conveyors are here. And then the demo layouts are here and the process modeling demo layouts are available in this folder. Then also there is process modeling template layouts. These are some example layouts with some explanation that we have placed over here. So as you started already to get a sense, process modeling components that are used in process modeling library are at the moment in the folders starting with PM. You can see over here. Then there is some products and containers, things like boxes, crates, barrels, and so on. And also, for example, pallets. You can find those under products and containers. I use this folder quite often. And then robot-related tools. Let me just scroll this down. There is positioners, tools, workpiece positioners, and all the robots. I guess the robots at the moment are like plus 1,500 in our eCAD. That's like the most of the population of our electronic catalog. And then the folder statistics. So here, if you want to create bar charts or calculate cycle times from point A to point B, you can use these components. There is a tutorial I made about it in our academy. Please go there and watch it and try to utilize these components more in your layouts. Then there is the interactive VR components and works library folders. What we have down here is the same thing, but now grouped by manufacturer. And then we have, for example, this visual components folder. It's this one, almost at the end. And here are all the components that we have created. These components may not have a specific manufacturer, but feel free to utilize these to complete your layouts. I guess that was it. It's a quick check of what are the contents of eCAD. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one and bye for now.